Okay, welcome back. So, I'm gonna make sure I ask everyone about that because I've been hinted. I've already asked her before, but. On Valentine's Day, Dr. Decker had a session with Claire Castleford at 11 and that nurse, Elin, at three. Everyone else canceled. You should see this place Christmas Eve. I was at home though, so I don't actually know who came in. Dr. Decker did phone and ask me for Nathan's number, which is a bit strange. Huh. Oh, that's the phone call that he said he missed. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's, uh, I think I found something out accidentally. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. I'm happy to discuss all of these things, just one at a time. So she wants to talk about other things first? I haven't really talked to her yet, maybe that's why. Um, actually, I had a hot date. It wasn't anything serious, just some guy I know. But it was a nice date. Different to what I'm used to. Okay. Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. It was... It was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. I did. Done that. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway, but it's also where they died. I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there, by the lake, uh, only about nine or 10. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Uh, she lives on the other side of the lake. She must be new, I haven't seen her there before. Are you bored? I see what you're trying to do. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. I don't usually talk to children, but she seemed different, special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, doctor? Good. It felt nice, 
I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. Uh, no. I don't mean I'm going to hunt her down. Just if I see her, I'll talk to her again. Yeah, but that's not what you said. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creature that she's seen in the water. Sorry, I don't know any... I don't know. Minnows, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. David had been hunting again, and, well, she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. Animal skins. Um, David hunts, uh, then skins. It's horrible, really. Um, he's not really good at either job, so the skins still have great lumps of bloody carcass hanging off them. I'm sure he'll get better with practice. David had been hunting again and, well, she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, I forgot my key and the spare was missing. Perhaps we should change the subject. You seem to be struggling. Did he give the spare to someone? David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, I forgot my key. I don't know anything about that. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house, otherwise I would have died too. Okay, did you kill them? I'm not sure. It was a faulty boiler, I think. There's very little I'm not willing to talk about, Doctor. Do you think I killed my parents? It's okay if you think I killed them. You wouldn't be the first to draw that conclusion. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. Dr. Becker was killed. Uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. Dr. Becker was more animated that day. Excited, even. He talked a lot.
Instead of his usual sarcasm and rebuttals, he seemed genuinely excited. Presumably he had a date. Sorry. I don't have an answer for you. The day Dr. Becker was killed, uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. Valentine's Day night, I was at the lake house, watching David, like I always do. He has trouble with his mental faculties and is getting worse. Yes. I watch him and make sure nothing bad happens. But you're leaving him alone. A session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. I, I don't know. Perhaps we should change the subject. of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house, otherwise I would have... Sorry, I don't know... Are you bored? The day Dr. Becker was killed. See, I, I was gonna ask that, but it seemed like she already covered that in a different question. And she was talking about how excited he was. I don't have an answer for you on that one. Dr. Decker made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. I'll be taking it to the grave with me, though. As did he. What? It was 12 years ago. I was still very young. Too young to be an orphan anyway. I had to toughen up quickly. I see what you're trying to do. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people, lots of men. So that is an opportunity. David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, I forgot my key and the spare... the right word. David has always been there, in the shadows, on the periphery. I move in very exclusive circles. You tend to see the same faces.
Love? Yes. I suppose I always will. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Some tried to seduce me, some thought I wanted a new daddy. Most of them were the same age as my parents. And yet I'm the one here talking to you. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. I, I don't know. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people, lots of men, saw that as an opportunity. Hmm. Met isn't the right word. I don't move in any circles anymore. Those people were my parents' friends, not mine. You still don't explain why you started dating, David. circles anymore. But I've known David forever. It seems like he's always been in my life one way or another. He was a family friend. It's different now of course to when I first met him. I felt like he was protecting me then, watching over me. Nothing could hurt me when he was there. Uh, that sounds a little bit like a daddy dude. <laughs> I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people, lots of men. So yes, money, everybody wants it, but what use is it really? Look at me, am I happy? Am I loved? Am I living? No, but the lack of money can cause a lot more problems. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house, otherwise I would have died too. There's very little on... I asked. I think it is. I'm sure I had a spare key for the lake house, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't really need one if David is around. But you weren't able to get in. Where was David? If I am really delusional, I don't know. If you're really delusional, she may not exist. You say it's not contagious, but how can you be sure? I don't want to infect that little girl. Perhaps it's best if I stay away from her. Anniversary of my parents' death today. It 
It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. Yes, I loved my parents very much. They were very good parents. It was hard letting them go. I asked that. Uh. I think it's going to be David. I don't remember my friend's name. She was a girl from my school. Vicky. Charlotte. It's not really important. Okay. I know it's going to be an exclamation point, but I think it's just the background. He's the grave digger. That wretched dig goes on 24 7. 25 7, if you ask me. Your patient, Nathan, caused quite a stir. He interrupted one of the female students all night, apparently, made her miscategorize some findings going on about his dead girlfriend. It's amazing what you hear at the coffee machine. Oh, yeah, I'm so lost right I suppose now. that's a bonus. We're allowed to use their coffee machine while they're there. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's the thing. I don't have it. I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. We had a display in the gallery based on Love Conquers wow. All, so I had to work. Mainly it was a collection of giant hearts sat on things, but I ran into another patient, Bryce. I'd never really spoken with him before, but he's quite an art critic. I couldn't get rid of him until I finished work at 11. There's actually another guy who takes over on the night shift. I'm not sure if he kept talking to Bryce though. Providence is open 24 hours. Okay, so Bryce has an alibi. I should take notes. <laughs> I should do that. Alibis. Solid uh, alibi category, unless they're working together. Jaya has no alibi. What'd she say? I think she said she was alone or something. I was at Henley Church. They had a service that ran right up till midnight. Okay. For us less fortunate without a love in their life. Well, now. Can anyone vowed she was there? I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with... Okay. Oh. 
I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day, visiting Hannah's grave. It's the anniversary of her death. Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. Well, that was day. I left Henny Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. This spot? I think I'm maybe... No, it doesn't look right. She was interested. Maybe I misread. Maybe she was just being kind. I, I suppose most women wouldn't enjoy me talking about my dead ex for hours. Did he? I spent most of Valentine's Day at the art gallery. Well, the evening part, anyway. They had a display with the theme, Love Conquers All. I didn't get most of the paintings, but they were well done. That wretched dig goes on 24-7. 25-7, if you ask me. Your patient, Nathan, caused quite a stir. He interrupted one of the female students all night, apparently. Made her miscategorize some findings, going on about his dead girlfriend. It's amazing what you hear at the coffee machine. Well, I suppose that's a bonus. We're allowed to use their coffee machine while they're there. So Lacey said she was there. Does Lacey even exist? I want to ask about Lacey. I don't know. Sorry, Doctor. I think you might be barking up the wrong- What? It's very interesting that you asked me that. I think Bryce has a lot of misdirected anger. I don't think I like him that much. You know, sometimes when things overrun, he's outside waiting for you, and he stares at me as if he's undressing me with his eyes. You know, he's not the first person that's done that, but still, you know, it feels worse coming from him. Okay, this is weird. Why is she not talking about these two? Are they, are they not real? Claire seems to be shaken by something. You know, I offer her drinks every time she comes in, but she always refuses them. It's as if she just wants to come in, get her session over with, and then run off to do something else. It's a bit rude, isn't it? No. It does seem a little weird, but it's not rude. Elin seems like a lovely person. I'm not really sure why she's here. That's how I felt the first time. <laughs> not anymore. Mariana is a special girl. You know, there's something about her that just makes you want to follow her. Maybe that's what a trendsetter looks like. I just want to cuddle Nathan all up. He's such a mess. He's always in the same clothes. You know, he barely talks to me, though. It's the same hello every time. He reminds me of Tom. Tom was a quiet mess, like Nathan. Youngish in his early 20s. He taught piano, but he did have a strange hobby. Tom liked to base jump. 
that's basically falling from a huge building or mountain and pulling your parachute before you hit Super the ground. Super dangerous. He started to think he could fly. So many people die from that. Dr. Decker tried to talk him out of it, but Tom had to prove his point. So one day, Tom decided to base jump without a parachute. Can you guess what happened? No. <laughs> he did die. He was hit by a rock from further up the mountain. He never got to fly. Nathan thinks he knows what his problem is too, but if he's not careful, he'll get hit by that rock. I wish I'd said goodbye. Okay. Alright, so who am I missing out this from? I got Bryce. Jasmine says she was at the church, but I did not get any verification on that. I don't even know if Jasmine exists. <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So if Jasmine doesn't exist, she can't confirm the art gallery thing. Bryce does not say that he saw Jasmine there. He says he was there. do we got we have Claire instead of his Valentine's Day night I was at the lake house watching David like I always do His name is Max. He's really sweet, but I don't see a future between us. He's not really my type. He said it was a hot date, though. I've known Max a couple of years, but this is the first time we've been on a date. I don't think he's boyfriend material. What do you want me to say? It was Valentine's Day. <laughs> Everyone deserves a little loving on Valentine's Day. Okay, is there anyone else? I didn't have anything to do on Valentine's Hello. Day. Okay. Let me make sure. I think she said she went to the beach. I didn't have anything to do on Valentine's Day. I washed my hair and I walked along the beach for the whole night. Just want to get the info it's down true. in case they contradict it later. So. Okay.
There's something I want to tell you about. Something else that's wrong with me. I think I've been getting a bit out of control in my hour. When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? Ha! That was just an example, Doctor. I'm sure you can come up with more exciting things to do than that. Not. Yes, I would steal too. And I have stolen. I ran out of milk, so I thought I'd go to the local all night shop and get some more. I was absolutely intending to pay, but when I got there, everyone was frozen. I thought about leaving money on the counter, but that seemed weird. The cashier would wake and suddenly this money would have appeared from nowhere. But I've stolen bigger things. From stealing milk, I moved on to petrol. From petrol, well, all those supermarkets have all kinds of electricals, so I've stolen quite a lot of that. I'm not proud. I think I've been doing it because I can. To prove to myself, either way, my extra hour is actually real. Sorry, Doc. When I first got the hour, I, I was shocked, obviously. It took me a while to work out that everyone was frozen and only I could move. Because I live on my own. What would you do, Doctor, if you had an hour where everyone was frozen? Go to a fairground? No. Well, that makes me feel a little better. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me, Jessica. She's friendly and says hello to me, smiles. I've always wondered what she looks like, naked. So one hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I took it as a sign. I took off her clothes and... Sometimes I see a girl standing behind you. I don't know who it is. And me? I don't know what you're asking me either. What? Possibly a relative of yours. Possibly a patient that died here. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally say anything. Huh. When you work in a graveyard, you see a lot of strange things. I'm not sure if they're real, or whether I think they're real, or which is worse. Yeah, I mean, unless this is a magical world, this guy's definitely schizophrenic. Well, that makes me feel a little better. I have no idea what. I just want you to continue your damn story. Well, 
That makes me feel a little better. There's a young mother, divorced, who lives opposite me. Jessica. She's friendly Jessica, okay, and says yeah. hello to me, smiles. I've always wondered what she looks like, naked. So one hour, I broke into her house. She was standing in her bedroom. I took it as a sign. I took off her clothes. How is that a sign? <laughs> I have no... I took photos of Jessica when she was naked. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? I know. It's that bloody Dr. Decker. He made me this way. It's all his fault. I don't have... The pictures exist. I took photos of Jessica. Now... Not... Sorry, Doc. I took photos of Jessica when she was naked. When I'd stripped her. When she was naked and frozen. I didn't want to have to do it again, to strip her again. So I took pictures to remind myself what she looked like. That's wrong, isn't it, Doctor? Ah. <sighs> Well, I guess I could have got the notes in here, huh? I know. It There's one too many questions here. I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. Do you know what? It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I know. It's that bloody... Like I said, I originally presented with depression, and everything was going well for a while. Then Dr. Decker changed. Okay, so is he somehow giving people powers? Is this actually some kind of magic thing? He was easily distracted during sessions, like he wasn't listening. I'm pretty sure he wasn't listening half the time. I don't think he wanted to know about his patients anymore. But when he did give you advice... He told me to use my imagination to make something up. To think something crazy and it would become real. He told me to think of a way to get more time. Okay, so this seems a lot so crafty. Yeah. But he pushed me. He made me think it. Huh. I... 
Also, the logo of the game is like the Cthulhu, like thing, like the tentacles or whatever, like hanging down from the logo. Huh. Just trying to see this game differently. Um. When you work in a graveyard, you see a lot of strange things. I'm not sure if they're real or whether I. You're laughing at me, aren't you? I said I wasn't sure if they were real. I don't know. I dug the grave for Dr. Decker. I helped carry his coffin to the burial site. No, the coffin wasn't empty. There was something in it. A decoy, I'd imagine. I'm guessing he was buried somewhere else, or cremated. Somebody somewhere didn't want his body going in the ground. Do you want to be cremated or buried, Doctor? I don't know, that's a good question. Oh, well, he did say he likes cremation. I got cremated. That's a good choice, Doctor. Less work for me. Thinking I had an extra hour at the end of each day did become real for me, Doctor. Maybe Decker was a genie, and he could grant wishes. Maybe he wished himself dead. I don't know. Uh, it's not a hard wish to grant. What? Yes, I suppose I've destroyed a few things whilst in the hour. You can be the perfect supervillain. Nobody knows it was you. Not something I know about. Guess that. Oh my god. I don't I don't really want to say that. I don't think you would, Doctor. I don't think I would either. I did think what good could I do other than catch up with work. I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched, so I gave her purse back, and the crook, I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me, so I took another picture. I don't have... Moving things around and hiding things was amusing at first, when everyone was frozen. Some people would faint when things appeared from mid-air. Others would cry. Others just thought that it was there all the time and that their mind was playing tricks on them. It got boring fast, though.
I did think, what good could I do other than catch up with work? I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. I have no... Sorry, dog. I did think, what good could I do? I did think, what good could I do other than catch up with work? I did see a woman who was having her purse snatched. So I gave her purse back. And the crook, I placed him on a bus a few blocks away. I have no idea where it was going. She'd never really be able to thank me. Not something I... I don't have... Therapists are supposed to help you. For whatever reason, Dr. Decker had given up the desire to cure my mind and instead wanted to make me more unstable. All right, so it does sound like this is a consistent thing. Like, even if he doesn't have powers, he's making him more crazy. Which makes sense with the title. <laughs> I asked that. I live on my own. Occasionally I visit my father. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. Are you kidding me? about the father? Because you have to hope, don't you, Doctor? It's only the power of hindsight that made me realize how toxic it all was. And after a point, you go too far to be able to come back anyway. I took a picture after undressing her. I put her clothes back on before time resumed. Is it the same woman? To be honest, there wasn't much to take off and put on. Do you know what kind of girls walk around at midnight? Oh, God. Dad. I'm a bit of a professional at this grave filling business, Doctor. I know a decoy coffin when I handle one. delete them. I don't know why. I haven't shown them to anyone else. Do you want to see them, Doctor? Yeah, I want to see if they exist. If you want to see those photos, you're as sick as I No, I want to see if they exist. Ah, okay. So I'm going to end this video here. Till next time.